I want some different shit. I might just hit your bitch out walking the park. What's up, y'all? I'm Darren Randall. Welcome back to Let It Be Known. We're already six weeks through the NFL season, and I feel like it's a perfect time to take a look back at some of the worst contracts from this past offseason. So number three on the list, I'm going with Trevor Lawrence. The Jaguars signed Trevor Lawrence to a five-year, $275 million contract with $200 million guaranteed and a $37 million signing bonus. Trevor Lawrence has led the Jaguars to a 1-4 record, losing to the Cleveland Browns, the Miami Dolphins, the Buffalo Bills, the Houston Texans, and barely getting their first win this week against against the Indianapolis Colts. To remind you, that was against a 40-year-old Joe Flacco in his second game of the season. He has 1,100 yards, six touchdowns, and two interceptions through five games with a 59.6 completion percentage. To remind you, this is his worst completion percentage since his rookie year. And honestly, I was giving him a lot of slack in his first year because of Urban Myers, and I felt like that was a lot of the difficulties that he was having. But now you're already in your fourth year, your first round pick, a first overall pick in an NFL draft. And honestly, you haven't showed up. They named the stadium after you this past year and you Trevor Lawrence is supposed to be a winner a unicorn a guy that somebody can put the franchise on their back and so far Trevor Lawrence you're not living up to the contract and neither are you living up to your draft status so I'm hoping that Trevor Lawrence will steadily improve at number two on the list I'm going with Tua Tonga Maloa Miami Dolphins signed Tua to a $214 million contract with $167 million guaranteed. Tua has had a great start to his very young career, but signing him to a long-term deal when he has struggled to stay on the field was one of the biggest red flags to me. We're already two games through the season and he's already on IR and no telling when he's going to come back. Tua's concussions has been one of the scariest things I've ever witnessed on the NFL field and there's no telling if Tua's going to end up going 5, 6, 7, 8 years in the future. So honestly, if I'm a part of the Miami Dolphins fan base or the Miami Dolphins organization, I feel like it's time to draft a quarterback or time to, you know, pull in a free agent and see where you guys can do in the future. Because there's, I don't know if Tua's going to end up being what you guys need him to be. They signed him to a long-term contract, and I feel like this was probably one of the worst contracts of the past offseason just because nothing is guaranteed, and who knows if Tua's going to retire or keep playing in the NFL, even though he has mentioned he has no plans to retire. Number one on the list, I'm going Dak Prescott. The Dallas Cowboys signed Dak to a $240 million contract worth $231 guaranteed and $80 million signing bonus. The Cowboys are currently 3-2 in second in the division, and honestly, they're probably lucky to be that. This is probably one of the worst offenses I've seen in the last numerous of years from the Cowboys, and that's saying a lot since they just paid Dak Prescott the most money ever for a quarterback in NFL history and also paid wide receiver CeeDee Lamb one of the biggest contracts in NFL history. My biggest issue with Dak Prescott's contract is not the money. My biggest issue is you're signing a quarterback that has gave you the same results each and every year. He's not getting you to a Super Bowl. He's not even getting you to an NFC Championship. So why are you paying him a long-term deal? I feel like the best option for the Dallas Cowboys this past offseason was to honestly let Dak play this last year and maybe after this season sign him to a long-term contract. If he proves that things have changed, then he's a way better, different quarterback. I do understand Dak Prescott was coming off an of all-pro season and as an MVP favorite, but he hasn't done anything to prove that he should be here for years and years to come honestly this is the same tony romo story the same dallas cowboys story and i feel like fans deserve better i feel like dallas cowboys fans are sick of not only jerry jones not only dak prescott not only losing they're just tired of tired of the culture and as an NFL fan that has grew up hating on the Cowboys, I feel like the Cowboys fans do deserve more and I feel like they should be one of the top organizations in the NFL. But until the Cowboys are ready to move on from Dak and find a real franchise quarterback, the Cowboys are going to continually be stuck inside this loop of losing, winning, losing, winning, losing, winning, and then losing again. With that being said, those were my three worst contracts of this past NFL offseason, but y'all let it be known below whether you agree or disagree. Do you feel like Dak or somebody else should have been on or off this list? Who do you feel like were the top three worst contracts of this past offseason? Who did I miss? But let it be known, we gone, I'm out.